It's amazing to me how attached people are to this place. The Bluffs restaurant was really the first visitor service, the first restaurant along the parkway when it opened in 1949. It became an incredibly popular place. I've seen photographs from July 4th, you know, maybe the mid-1950s, and the parking lot is just jammed. There's park rangers here giving directions to people because there was no place to park. I've heard stories from the old uh, kitchen managers who worked here about serving as many as a thousand meals a day. I mean, that's just incredible. I've been in that kitchen, it's not very big. People came from literally miles around to have Sunday lunch and dinner here, but it was popular seven days a week. Used to be waiting lines all the way out in that parking lot on Sunday. Ellen, who worked here for more than 60 years, her entire working career, started the very first day it opened till the day it closed. It's both the uh, atmosphere and the good fried chicken and country ham and biscuits. And the minute they walk in, they say, is Ellen here? <laughs> so the Plus restaurant was known historically for its fried chicken, for its ham biscuits, sweet potato pancakes, all the traditional Southern favorites. And all those items are back on the menu, as well as some new favorites that we think everyone is going to enjoy. The construction of the bluffs is somewhat typical of the day, but you gotta remember that in 1948, there wasn't much out here. The timbers were hewn right here on site. The timber frame construction held together by wood pegs that were carved here on site. And it's partly why this building is still worth saving. It's the light fixtures made of brass and aluminum shades. It's the floor pattern in the tile. Our restoration preserved all those historic features and it's why we've gone to the extent we have to preserve this structure because it talks about that period of time in American history. The genesis of the rebirth of the bluffs really can be credited to the local community, saying we, we miss this icon. Folks who really ignited all of the fundraising effort that uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation has been collaborating and leading. And were it not for the state of North Carolina, the Appalachian Regional Commission, and this very large community of stewards, the funds wouldn't have been raised and we wouldn't be standing here talking about the resurrection of the Bluffs restaurant. But the real challenge was getting this done during a pandemic. The contractors who did this really did a terrific job and people persevered. We wore masks, we washed hands, and it wasn't just while they were on the work site. It was when you were at home in your community trying to keep everybody healthy. We had people who worked on this construction site whose parents and grandparents worked on the original construction of the parkway. To them, this was really deeply personal, that they're perpetuating something that their family has contributed to sharing the Western North Carolina and the Appalachian Mountain story.